Hey, you welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I am your trainer for this Azure Administrator Associate AZ One Hundred and Four Examination Course. We are still at Module Five. Module Five is all about inter-site connectivity in Azure, and in this lesson, we're going to learn about Express Route and Virtual WAN. Let's have a look at the high-level things what we are going to learn on this video. We will learn about what is Express Route and what are its capabilities, and what do you mean by coexisting site to site and Express Route mean for you or your customer, and some of the inter-site connection comparisons, and we will finally finish off with the virtual vans. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Azure Express Route. Let's you extend your on-premises network into the Microsoft Cloud over a dedicated private connection facilitated by connectivity provider. With Express Route, you can establish connection to Microsoft Cloud services such as Microsoft Azure, Office 365, and CRM Online. You can use Azure Express Route to create private connections between Azure Data Center and infrastructure on your on-premises. Express Route connection doesn't go over the public internet and they offer more reliability, faster speed, and lower latencies than any typical internet connections. You can use Express Route to both connect and add compute and storage capacity to your existing data centers with high throughput and fast latencies. Azure will feel like a natural extension to or between your data centers, so you can enjoy the scale and economics of public cloud without having to compromise on network performance. With predictable, reliable, and high throughput connection offered by Express Route, you can build applications that span on premises infrastructure and Azure without compromising privacy and performance. So let's have a look at some of the Express Route's capabilities. Express Route is supported across all Azure regions and locations. This following map provides a list of Azure regions and Express Route locations. Express Route locations refer to those where Microsoft peers with several service providers. You will have access to Azure services across all regions within a geographical region if you connect it to at least one Express Route location within the geographical region. So what are the benefits? The first one I would like to talk about is Layer 3 connectivity. Microsoft uses BGP, an industry standard dynamic routing protocol to exchange routes between your on-premises network, your instances in Azure, and Microsoft public address. And Microsoft established multiple BGP sessions with your network for different traffic profiles. Another benefit is connectivity to Microsoft Cloud services and geographical locations. Express Route connections enable access to lots of Microsoft services, including Azure, Office 365 services, Dynamics 365. Office 365 was created to be accessed securely and reliably via the internet. So Express Route requires Microsoft authorization. Another benefit is global connectivity with Express Route Premium add-on. So you can enable the Express Route Premium add-on feature to extend connectivity across geopolitical boundaries. So you can extend the Express Route Premium add-on feature to extend connectivity across geopolitical boundaries. Let's look at some of the bandwidth options. You can purchase Express Route circuits for a wide range of bandwidths. Be sure to check with your connectivity provider to determine the bandwidths they support. And then there is flexible billing models as well. So you can pick a billing model that works best for you. You can have an unlimited data, meter data, or Express Route premium add-on as well.
in an un in the unlimited data model billing is based on a monthly fee all inbound and outbound data transfers is included free of charge in the metered billing data billing is based on a monthly fee all inbound data transfer is free of charge and outbound data transfer is charged per gb of data transfer and the premium add on feature this add on includes increase routing table limits increase number of vnets and global connectivity and connections to office 365 dynamics 365 etc so let's learn about coexisting site to site and express route what does it mean for you express route is a direct and private connection from your van to microsoft services including azure site to site vpn traffic travels encrypted over public internet being able to configure site to site vpn and express route connection for the same virtual network have several advantages you can configure site to site vpn as a secure failover path for express route or use site to site vpn to connect to sites that are not part of your network but that are connected through express route notice that this configuration requires two virtual network gateways for the same virtual network so one using the type as vpn and the other one is using as express route gateway and you can create a connection between your on premises network and microsoft cloud in three different ways co-located at cloud exchange point to site internet connection and any to any connection there are many inter site connection choices this table summarizes how to make a selection let's talk about virtual vans azure van is a networking service that provide optimized and automated branch connectivity to and through azure azure region serve as hub that you can choose to connect your branches to you can leverage the azure backbone to also connect branches and enjoy branch to vnet connectivity there is a list of partners that support connectivity automation with azure virtual van vpn so what are the advantages of virtual van the first one is integrated connectivity solution in hub and spoke so automate site to site configuration and connectivity between on premises and an azure hub the second one is automated spoke setup and configuration and it's super easy and intuitive for troubleshooting as well and there are two types of virtual vans the basic and standard in the basic one there is site to site vpn only and the standard one offer express route point to site site to site interhub and we need to be a transitioning through virtual hub so that concludes the module 5 so we completed the module called inter site connectivity in the next video we're going to go through the review question or what we have learned on the previous lesson so i will see you on the next one till then take care